This week we're starting work on the Beachside Bungalow Dollhouse Kit by working on the foundation and the floors. Stay tuned and see how it all comes together. All right, first I'm gonna catch you up on what I've done off camera. Then I'll show you kind of what I did, how I did what I did, and then we can get on to doing some work today. So I've went through both this box and this one over here, and I have marked and sorted out all the pieces. So I know exactly what's here. I used that along with the checklist in the book, in the instructions, to make sure I have everything. And yes, all the pieces are here. Did the same thing with all the parts to the dollhouse. So now we've got just a few pieces left that I haven't marked yet. So I'm going to show you how I marked them and what I did. Um, let me get my reference out here so I know what I've got. So I've measured these with my tape measure. And I know that this is, both of these pieces are, turn it over, the long foundation. So what I did on all the parts, I figured out what piece they were. Then I took a pencil and I wrote on the back and I did that on every piece except for these that I've got right here. And then I marked them off on the checklist. That way I can verify that yes, everything is here. Oh, and excuse the plastic. I'm working on plastic to protect my table. Um, because of the fact that I don't have a big workspace. I'm going to be building this dollhouse a little differently from what the directions are. Also because I'm kind of combining their directions with my experience building dollhouses. So it's not going to be done exactly the way they do it. So I'll bring that up right now. Um, I am going to very first thing I usually I would prime before I assemble but I think I'm going to assemble this frame for the foundation first and then I'm going to prime the foundation all at once um, I think that's going to be easier um, to do it that way so let me get all the pieces for that out and we'll get started all right, so I have dry fit my pieces of my foundation together. Like I said, normally I would um, prime everything before putting it together, but I think because these are just strips of wood, they'll be a lot easier to prime once they are put together. So I have the three shorter pieces, which are called mid foundations, and I have the two long pieces. I also have the little handy squares that the company provides so I can double check that everything is square. I also have my masking tape underneath my instructions and I have glue. Now I've chosen to use a wood glue. Um, that's one place where I'm differing from what the instructions say. The instructions state using, they suggest using a tacky glue. I feel a wood glue is stronger. One of their things that they talk about, and I agree, one of the downsides of wood, of wood glue can be that they dry yellow. That won't matter on this because it's going to be painted. Um, I will use tacky glue in areas where I'm afraid it might show. But for this, I want the better bond of a wood glue. And I've got Gorilla wood glue right now. So, I am going to pull this apart. I'm going to double check how long Okay, I need to clamp it for at least 30 minutes. And okay. So the wood glue will be, I'm going to apply it right here. Hopefully, you can see most of this. I've had to put the camera up quite a ways in order to get you guys to have a wide enough view of what I'm doing. I'm going to set this down. I'm going to put the glue in the same places on this piece. Okay. 
And this is probably all that we will be assembling today. We're going to do some priming after this. But that's about all we're going to get. And then some finishing, which I'll show you. All right, so I'm going to bring this together. And I'm going to slide this piece in. Come on. Go in the hole. You went in there earlier. There you go. I'm going to get this piece on. That way everything will be straight. I'm going to double check that it's straight. I've got glue seeping out over there. I should have brought a paper towel and I forgot. Now I want to tape before this starts to set up. So this, this corner is good. And I'll probably go, oops, sorry I didn't mean to move you guys, but I have to be able to reach. I will probably go out in my kitchen and get some like hand goods out of the pantry and kind of stand up against the walls here to help it to stay in place until this glue has time to set up. But we want to make sure that we tape. You want to tape all your corners, double checking that the corner is square. I tested my primer on this to see what it was going to be like, if it was going to work or not. Off camera, I will turn this over and probably take from the other side a little bit more. Oh, maybe I can do it on camera. Let's see. Let's go ahead and I'm going to tape that one a little bit more thoroughly. I don't feel like I got it taped very well. There we go. Now, let's carefully turn it over. Oops. Square it back up. If I didn't have this tool, I would use a square, which I have in my toolbox. I know not all kits come with a little handy square, but that is a nice feature. I do like that. You do want to make sure that your corners are square when you start out. If we make any mistakes at this part, it's going to affect the entire build. So I'm going to finish taping this. I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to go get, like I said, some canned goods and stack in the corners and along the sides just to help hold this together for at least the next half hour, probably 45 minutes to an hour. I'll go do some other stuff I need to get done. And when I come back, we'll move the canned goods out of the way and we'll probably do our priming. Okay, it's been about an hour. I put some canned goods up against the edges here, like I said, to just give it a tiny bit more support. But this appears to be set up pretty well. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the priming on it. Uh, let's get the tape off. Um, I'm going to prime the outside. I probably won't prime the inside today. I'll get started. I'll show you what I'm using. I'm not using the primer I prefer to use. And there's a real simple reason for that. Let me get this tape off. I only had time to make one stop after work the other day on the way home when I got this. And I, and I had to get other stuff at Walmart, so I stopped at Walmart. They did not carry the primer I like, which is the white pigmented shellac. I got this one. This is actually a water cleanup made by the same company. I tested it out, not on this one, on this one, and it works just fine. It didn't raise up any weirdness. It, it coated just fine. So this is the primer I'm going to use. Um, I'll go ahead and put a little of it on here today on camera, and then I'll turn the camera off and finish it up so I don't bore you to death. I think I will also utilize a couple of these canned goods to raise this up off the plastic. I'll put, um, they all seem to be the same height. So I am going to be putting this up. Did I get enough? Hopefully I got enough. Yes, I did. Exactly enough. All right, 
That way, this is not sitting directly on the plastic. It's elevated up a little bit. So let me go get this stirred up, get my brush I'm going to use, and I'll be right back. All right, I want to preface the application of this primer by saying, if I wasn't doing this on a video where I need to get all this done this week to put a video up for you on Sunday, I would let this glue dry more. But this is my only opportunity this week to get this done, so I'm having to rush it. If you're following along at home, please let your glue dry a lot more than I am here. Um, give it overnight to dry. Um, it'll just give you a better, a better finished product. But I really need to get moving on this in order to have time to get the video done. Um, I've only got so many hours during the week to get this worked on. I have other responsibilities and I'm filming for two video, two channels on the same table. So I need to get this done and to a point where I can move it to set up for my other channel's video. And I also have some projects I'm going to do for myself on this table. So um, it's kind of um, time sensitive here. Now, if you have drips, be sure and clean them up. So this is really all, you, you know how to prime. We're just painting. Um, put a nice even coat on, keeping in mind that this is just to seal the wood. It's easier to do this now than when the house is completed. And it's all going to be covered. It's either going to be inside the dollhouse or the surfaces that show are going to have another finished coat of some kind on them. I've got something really cool planned for this foundation. I can't wait to show you that. It's, I think, a little different than I've done in the past. The variation, anyway, on stuff that we've done before. I'm really excited to show you what we're going to do. So I'm going to finish this up. I'll take some pictures, and we might have, I think there'll be one more segment to this video yet, so stay tuned for that. For you, it'll be a moment. For me, it'll be a few hours. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, this is set for an hour or two. I flipped it over a couple of times. I've been wiping down drips. I see I've got a few there. This is looking just like I want it to. I'll talk about primer and why we use it on the blog post, so be sure and check that. But this is primed and ready to go for our next step. I am going to clean this mess up and get out the other thing I want to get done today on today's video, so I'll be right back. All right, now this is the main floor, the lower floor of the dollhouse. I also have the upper floor with the cutout for the stairs. I only have room on my table for one at a time, so I'm going to demo on this one, and I'll do that one off camera later in the week. So this kit has the flooring for a wood floor. I'll show you on this one. It's kind of, it's cut in. I don't know how well that's showing up on camera, but it has already been kind of finished as a wood as a hardwood floor looking floor. And I haven't decided if I'm going to use that in the finished dollhouse, but the kit recommends, and I agree, that this needs to be protected with a clear finish of some kind. Um, I have this polyurethane, Minwax polyurethane, here I used it for another non-miniature project a while back. I'm just going to put a thin coat of that on. If I decide to do a different finish on this later, I still can sand that off. If I decide I want to use hardwood floors, this will already be protected. And what this finish will do is it will protect this wood from getting spills, like when I put the wallpaper on and getting glue stains and stuff like that on it, it'll just give it a protective coat. So let me get set up to do this and I'll be right back. All right, now with any clear finish like this, whether it's a verithane, polyurethane, varnish, whatever, you always stir it. There's gunk in the bottom. That we want to get up, but you never shake this. That'll get it full of bubbles that you won't be able to get out, and that will affect your final finish. 
So never ever shake this stuff to get it ready to go. And also since this takes a, um, this is not a water soluble product, I am using a disposable foam brush for this. I'm not going to use one of my good brushes because I don't want to have to clean it later. I have a bunch of these. I buy these at Dollar Tree, by the way. There's like six of them in a package at Dollar Tree for a buck. So I never feel bad about throwing them away. So then we just want to put a very thin coat. It's best to not start in the middle like I did there, but I was doing that because I was busy talking and not thinking. But you see, this goes on really quickly. And it's not really going to show very much. But like I said earlier, it's just to protect this floor in case I decide to use the wood finish. Now this will prevent me from staining it later, but I really don't want to stain. This dollhouse is going to be all light colors, I think, inside. I haven't decided, I haven't made any decisions about a color scheme yet. Um... I'm kind of leaning towards a light neutral palette, but I haven't decided. I'll have to decide that. So I'm going to finish laying this coat down, and then I'll be back, and we'll talk about what we did today. All right, that didn't even take me two or three minutes to do. So that's all got its coat on. It's just a very thin coat, like I said, to protect it. One thing I didn't mention, I didn't want this sitting directly on the plastic. So I actually have a whole bucket of water bottle tops, the caps from water bottles. I've got a bunch of those underneath this to just act as risers underneath so it doesn't sitting on the plastic. That way if anything drips off the edge, which I am going to watch for, I'm going to wipe it. But I was pretty careful to not get stuff too much on. Make sure you wipe the edges. Um, also if there's anything left on my plastic from my priming of the foundation, that won't get onto my wood either. So this needs to sit. It has to sit for a couple hours. I will do the other side, but next week we'll go on to the next steps on the dollhouse. I'm really excited to take you along with on this journey. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Any questions, be sure and ask. Uh, be sure and check the blog posts. There'll be photos, more information. If you haven't found me on Facebook, that's a great place to contact me, and I will talk to you all, all you guys later. Bye.